My name is Heather Cox. I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Jonesville, North Carolina. Hollywood week was really tough for me. I got sick. I had laryngitis and the stomach flu. So by the end of the week, my voice was shot. When I am down, and oh, my soul, so, so weary. By the final judgment, I knew I had a 50-50 shot, so it could have gone either way. Heather. Yes? Congratulations. Oh, you. thank you so much. Oh. One, one love. Thank but you But I'm so just much. so blessed that they saw through the adversity, and they said yes. And I will be singing When You Tell Me That You Love Me, made famous by the American Idol finalists last year. I love this show. I absolutely love it. I watch it like a stalker. And when I heard them sing it, it gave me chills. My dad went out and bought the CD for me, and so I've listened to it a million times, so I really hope I can deliver it. And I'm also dedicating it to my parents because I love them very much and I miss them. I want to call the stars down from the sky I want to live a day that never dies. I want to change the world only for you. All the impossible. Okay, so yo, you had laryngitis the last time we saw you. We put you through because we remembered all the performances. We thought you were great. I would have thought, I mean, you know, it's me, maybe the dog pound too, that you would come out tonight, you pick a song, you just slay us from the beginning of the song to the end. Okay. No, that's not what happened, okay. no. It was just such, it was kind of really boring, man. I, 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 I wanted to really hear you go for it, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't really hear that, and it was all kind of pitchy. And it sounds like the key was too low, it just, Dude, it didn't work for me tonight, man. It did not work for me. Okay. Mm. I don't know. Paula, what do you think? Um, I have to agree with Randy. It started out real rough. You impressed me through your laryngitis yeah, in Hollywood. I mean, it, you were still fantastic. This was not a great performance, honey. Okay. just wasn't. Heather, the trouble was it was forgettable. Okay. And you sang it like somebody taking an elocution lesson. <laughs> You know, oh, it was, everything was like that. You know, it was all, you know, it was horrible, actually. Okay. It just, you just got it wrong. I mean, I, I think the, you know, the, the problem I see on these stages of the competition is people play it safe. So you've yeah. heard the song before in America, and I, you know it's a popular song, and then you played it safe, but then you, your personality just evaporated you know that's why I'm saying it was forgettable no one will remember that performance for anything good about it they'll remember how beautiful you are though that's good. Oh, that's going to make her feel better, you gotta, Paula. You've got to blow hey, it out each time you get up girl, here. You've got to blow and it out. And that is, she, she's very elegant. And what would you know anyway? Forget about it. Heather Cox. America. So, in, in thinking about what the judges are saying, did, did you feel like you were a bit cautious in singing that song? No, I loved the song, and Bonzel knocked it out. I don't guess I did, but... Give me another chance! But Simon said you're playing it safe. It didn't feel that way to you at all. Uh, that's exactly what I was afraid he'd say. Yeah. You, you played it safe. Oh, it God was, though. It was okay. Safe. But you're feeling 100% now. You're back, your voice is back. Yes. And you're ready to compete. So hopefully I'll have another Heather, one. I would have said no. Made an excuse. 
Yeah, use excuses. You would have said no to what? I wouldn't have said she was feeling 100%. She needs an excuse. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> Too late for that. Too late for that. That's a good girl. There we go. We'll just pick up with that. And I would have worn a T-shirt under that sweater, but we all make mistakes. <laughs> if you'd like to vote for Heather Cox, it's one eight six six idol 8 That is one eight six six. 436-5708, or you can text the word VOTE to 5708. Don't vote until the end of the show. Good luck. Thank you very much. Okay. We'll be right back with Melissa.